It took me a long time to recover just to be able to talk about the Oregon Washington Pac-12 championship, but I'm here and I'm ready. I have to give props, but I also have to be very honest about what went on. I got a feel good story for you. What else do you want the man to do? We're counting down the best plays. How do you define success? George Reister. I was at the Pac-12 championship game in Allegiant Stadium, which first of all, I want to say is a great stadium. Food's great. The decor for the Raiders, absolutely excellent. The branding, the acoustics, loved it there. Even though my heart got broken. But I will say it is if for college football fans, that's what we want. Oregon's fan base showed out. Washington's fan base showed out. They showed up. They were loud. They were intense. And the teams on the field reflected that. Both teams played hard. And in the last 55 weeks, Oregon and Washington played three times. It has been a three-point game in all the in all the games. Came down to two kicks, and then you had a and then a, a touchdown pass. Like that's where we're at. And has anybody even considered that Oregon was not overrated? Because I've heard a lot of people say, oh, Oregon was overrated. Has anybody even considered that Oregon was not overrated and is one of the four best teams in the nation, but Washington, who beat them twice, is also one of the four best teams, if not the best in the nation? Because you can have two best teams in the country from the same conference. Oh, no way, George. Oh, wait, but, but haven't we been told that over and over again? With the SEC, oh, Bama and Georgia, the two best teams in the conference, in the nation, they need to play again. Ohio State, Michigan, two best teams. That, hmm, hmm, but why is it that they don't want? Oh, because branding and reputation matter. And the Pac-12 did not have the same reputation as the other conferences, and that's why you end up with those situations. But time will tell whether the Pac-12 ends up having the two best teams in the nation, depending on what Washington does. Now, I want to give credit because the Huskies had a great game plan. They had Oregon on their heels. And yes, did, did I feel like the game was poorly officiated with holding? Sure. But did that determine the game? Absolutely not. Was there two questionable pass interference calls? Yes. And both of them led to TDs, one for Oregon and one for UW. But the game was decided by the players and adjustments were at a premium. And you had Washington, their wide receivers and their great wide receiver play. They forced Oregon to play with two high safeties all game. And it was fun to watch, man. It was fun to watch. And even the, the Oregon comeback at the end, turning it into a close game, Washington closing it out. And yes, I wanted to throw up after the game. I wanted to throw up after the game. But this is what makes college football great. You have the pain and you have the greatness that is associated with it. The pain and the greatness. Because you don't truly appreciate the greatness that your team goes through if you have not stood any pain.